This video is an overview of the Blend Mesh stage in HollowEdit. The Blend Mesh stage takes the mesh from two source stages and creates a blended result using HollowEdit's deformation algorithm. Textures can either be transferred from the original source stages or also blended between the two sources. Two inputs are required for the Blend Mesh stage. This could be the same clip imported into your composition twice to create a blended loop, two clips of the same performer that need to flow into each other to extend a performance, or two different clips being blended to create a softer transition between the two. The more similar the mesh and motion being blended, the more natural your blend will look. Each stage needs to be imported into the same track with the frames to be blended overlapping in the timeline. Other mesh and texture processing stages can be completed prior to running the blend mesh stage. Simply ensure that you are specifying the correct input stage for the blend's source stage fields. When processing, a blend mesh interval will be divided into two sections, where the first half of the interval preserves the topology from source stage A and the second half of the interval preserves the topology from source stage B. Blend mesh intervals have a unique UI element, the blend curve. The blend curve determines how much each frame should be blended between the surface pose of source stage A and source stage B. Adjust the curve using the blend curve start and end values and blend curve shape. At default settings, the first frame of the blend interval will prioritize the surface shape of source stage A. Over the course of the blend curve, it will change from prioritizing the form of A to a blend of the two surface shapes, finally prioritizing the surface shape of source stage B as it reaches the end of the curve. Blend Mesh is empowered by HollowEdit's deformation algorithm. A number of the parameters you'll see mirror the parameters found in the Stabilized Mesh or Template Match stages. Parameters unique to the Blend Mesh stage are Source Stage A and Source Stage B. These fields allow you to assign the mesh and textures being blended. Blend Curve Shape Adjust the blend curve between a few different options. The default shape is linear, with an equal progression applied over the course of the blend, while the other blend curve shapes will allow for more easing into or out of the blend. The blend curve's start and end can be adjusted to change the priority of which source stage's surface is most closely adhered to. Changing the start or end value does introduce a risk that there is a more visible transition at the beginning or end of the blend. If an existing blend mesh interval is cut using the razor tool, the blend curve will be preserved. The blend curve start and end values will update automatically to show the interval's new starting and ending values. Texture blend mode allows you to select if your textures will also be blended during processing. In most cases, we suggest leaving the default option of none enabled. With none enabled, the blend mesh stage will use the source textures from the stage whose topology is being used as a source mesh during deformation. Crossfade performs a closest point texture transfer for each of the two surfaces. The two textures are then overlaid and blended based on the frame's position along the blend curve. It's also important to be aware of the match cosine limit and match distance limit. In many cases, the distance between the source and target mesh being deformed will exceed the default expectations used for the stabilized mesh stage. If you are attempting to blend two mesh with notably different poses, it is likely that you will need to increase the match distance limit value and decrease the match cosine limit. For more information on HollowEdit's deformation algorithm, please refer to our written documentation linked in the video description. We advise that mesh samples being blended should be processed first using the clean mesh stage to avoid risk of deformation failures while blending, and texture transfer to maximize texture quality. It's important to consider the clips being blended and what the most natural place to blend them would be. Algorithmic mesh blending is not performed the same way an actor would naturally change poses. Finding key limb position, body position, 
Posing and timing are all important considerations that should be taken into account when blending clips. Aligning the foot positions in a separate track before processing can help prevent your capture from feeling ungrounded or floaty during a blend. Planning so that the general movement between the source stages is going in parallel directions will help achieve a more natural flow. Ensuring there is no crossing or overlapping movement in the limbs will help prevent confusing results or loss of details in important areas. Once you've determined the range of frames that will be blended and aligned them in the timeline, create the blend mesh stage and an interval to contain the frame range you intend to blend. With the blend mesh stage selected and the inspector panel open, click and drag the stage containing the mesh stream that will lead into your blend into the source stage A field. Next, click and drag the stage containing the mesh stream that will lead out of your blend into the source stage B field. Stabilization parameters will need to be adjusted based off of the content of the clips you are blending. The blend mesh stage is ready to be executed at this point. The blend mesh stage does not produce stabilized mesh, so we'd suggest adding a stabilized mesh stage following your blend mesh interval. Or, if you're satisfied with the level of stabilized segments in your clip, simply run SSDR prior to export. Please refer to the Hollowedit written documentation for further details on the blend mesh stage in Hollowedit. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out the other videos on the Arcturus channel for more information on Hollowedit.